what I note in the entire unhappy kingdom is a lack of genius. There are minor talents, but there's no sense of the great sweeping wind of inspiration. It's a Philistine country. The only country in the world where a man of letters is actively looked down upon. Where it's a matter of pride that the royal family love only horses. One of the reasons I left England was I didn't want to be associated with the British School of Literature and its small-minded themes. There's a kind of laxness about multi-racial and multi-religious. The country has not learned to come to terms with its new mixed condition. The mosque is alien, external, centrifugal. Judeo-Christianity and Islam must always fail to cohere. Britain's shame is best shown in beleaguered Salman Rushdie, in the face of whose predicament government is hypocritical. This country used to be one in which free thought flourished and original genius was applauded no longer. Mary Quant OBE invented the miniskirt, which really consists of showing more leg. All right, it's something we've always wanted. She, probably through insensitivity, was able to push it through and was surprised at the response because she wasn't sensitive enough to expect a response. These are not major achievements. The major achievements of a race are great architecture, great music, great literature. These are not coming out of England. The mess of England, all television, fornication, and a rising generation given to rock music and violence. The England I like is the England I carry in my skull. The England of the past, not the decaying land of today.